Real quick announcement, guys, I am going to be doing a review of a product at the start of this video. If you guys wanna skip the review of the product and just get straight to the things that happened today, um, then you can skip forward in the video. I don't know what time card is gonna be at um, down below, but um, it's going to be, you're just gonna to have to skip the first portion of this if you wanna skip the review. I will be reviewing the Dark Doc Martin 1460s. So um, if you guys don't wanna see that, then definitely skip forward. Um, if you do want to see it, then definitely keep watching. Hope you guys enjoy. So real quick guys, just stick with me on this. It's a kind of a one of a kind little intro to the video. I'm kind of doing a review on the shoes I bought two days ago. Um, they are the Doc Martin 1460s in greasy black. Just to let you guys know a few things about these shoes, these are considered like the original Doc Martens. The 1460s are the, the image of Doc Martens, I guess you could say. Um, these are the ones with the semi-transparent clear sole, leather upper body, um, I have no clue how many eyelets it has, but it also has the, the very classic, um, what is it, airwear? Airwear tag up top. Um, these are like the go-to Doc Martens. When someone says they're wearing Doc Martens, it's these ones. Um, whether it's this pattern and color, not necessarily. Um, I've seen a little bit more of the patent leather than I have with the greasy, but the greasy I thought looked cooler. Um, so I have had these for two or three days now and um, worn them around. They are extremely, extremely comfortable um, there are a few issues with them though which i will get into right now if you guys have issues seeing feet look away now so i just took my socks off and i'm going to show you all something real quick this is the back of my heel so that right there is a big blister okay and then i'm going to show you the other side too which is right here same thing except this one's even bigger okay these shoes do require a lot of breaking in. They are not something that you just put on your feet and they immediately are like perfect. Um, there's very few shoes that are actually like that. Um, Nikes and Vans are basically the only two shoes I've ever worn that I don't require to be broken in. Um, all of my old basketball shoes did. Um, all of my boots definitely did. A lot of my like dress, like leather nice shoes did as well. These are no exception to that rule. They are. Um, I heard they're the rainbow of boots. The rainbows of boots. Once you break them in, they're the best thing you've ever had. But until then, they hurt like all get out. So they definitely, they feel extremely comfortable. There is no discomfort minus the pain. So I don't know really how to explain that. This shoe fits very comfortably on my foot. Um, it's a good encompassing feeling. It's cool. They aren't too hot or anything. Uh, the one problem is the breaking in is a very long process so I'm just going to do one more pano shot of what the shoe looks like and then uh, get into the rest of the vlog. Two jobs today and my first day of food running, food running training. to go back in for round two. As much as I hate to say it, 
it's time for round two. So I have worked 13 and a half hours today. Guys, if you really do want to do the math on that, you're technically only supposed to work eight hours at a time at one job. I worked eight or seven and a half and five hours. So there you go. There's my 13 and a half hours today. I am so ridiculously tired. I need to head home. style today because I did the review of the Doc Martens at the beginning of this uh, at the beginning of this episode um, so it was a little bit different let me know what you guys thought of it so if you guys could go down in the like the, uh, the comment section and just let me know how what you guys thought of it that would mean a ton to me um, if you guys are new also subscribe stick around for uh, more awesome videos to come um, I really hope you guys enjoy what I have been uh, producing lately it's definitely a, it's a lot of fun so um, with that being said, it is super late. It's, uh, I think it's 12.30 right now, so, no. Yeah, it's, it's like 12.30 or 1 o'clock, so, uh, I'm gonna go to bed. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit that like button. If you guys are new, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. So, until then, kings to you, and I will see you then. Peace out.